G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's revisiting some trees that I've done earlier in the year. Now this tree, I, I'll post a video, I'll post a description of when I did this tree early in the year, but it's a nice little shimpaku that we bent and twisted and, and shaped. It's got a nice little, it's starting to really fill out. You can see how healthy that is now in summer. Um, but what I forgot to notice or what I didn't notice earlier when I walked through the garden is I saw a black plastic on this meaning there's an air layer there so another air layer that I did in early or late winter early spring this year um, which is our August September um, and now it's January so time to have a look at it just like the other Shimpaku videos um, air layer videos that I've done um, where we've had some really good success I think I've yeah I've taken off eight I think air lays in just a couple of days, so that's really positive. Let's have a look at this last one here. I think it's the last one. I, I'll quickly look at the garden again, but I think that's the last one I can see um, of the Shimpaku. So we'll we'll see how this goes. But I'm hoping I can remove that today and then just start to, to tweak and, and reposition some of these branches and trim off some bits and pieces. So it's starting to really look like a nice little tree. Um, it is going to be, a I can just see how good this little tree has got all the shape, it's got all the structure. So the work we did initially was pretty good and it's pretty set. It's just that some of the growth is really starting to go, really take off. So it's now just a matter of controlling that and, and wiring it up. <coughs> all right, let's have a look. I'm sure this is another success, to be honest. Um, it's got a lot of foliage there, so it's good. Um, can't see too much there. Oh, okay. So I can see at the backside, it's heaps of roots. I'll bring in our show close up in a minute when I cut it off. But very good, another success, so that's fantastic. More trees to the collection. More shimpaku to the collection. I love it. <clears throat> and they're all pretty much gonna be, you know, minis in the future, these little ones that I'm that I'm taking. I know I took some bigger ones yesterday, or the you know, or yesterday for me, but it'll be a few days for you guys. Um, but so it's been been pretty cool. The bigger ones I might want to grow out a bit more possibly and use the bigger ones maybe for future stock trees as, as we as you know you can never have too much stock to, to your layer so okay oh, it's a cute little tree now much nicer now you can see the shape on it a bit more uh, let's let's peel this slowly <coughs> Good. Nice roots there. Don't want to lose that sphagnum there. Just dip it all. So I'll come in and show you that. Hopefully you guys can see that nice. Just take that. Just take that middle bit out, and then it's ready. Nice little little mini in the future. Some great nice growth. Just putting it in a pot now, just repotting straight in. Don't move it, don't touch it, don't knock the roots. Just straight into a pot, straight into a nice mix. cute little um, juniper LA success just water that in and stick it with the rest of the trees to let grow for another six months before I start working on it okay put that aside all right now let's have a look at this guy it's a nice little guy I think I think I might so you can see that's pretty cool there it's got a lot of growth at the back um, which is mm, maybe we've got a different position maybe there's a different side I and mean, you can start looking at different angles and sides um, but you notice if it's on this angle, this is the top of the tree and it's this side, it's forward here. We can't really use this because that's, that, that apex is more towards the back. So we've got to come back and I believe it's probably going to be somewhere in there. I don't know, I think I might be tilted slightly. Might have to check my old, old videos again and see what we decided to do. So maybe something like that. Um, yeah. 
I think um, I think we just have to relook at it a little bit more. I think if it's straight, it's not too bad straight as well. Just straight in like that. But I think it might it might need to be tilted slightly. It might be tilted slightly. Because I, I feel the apex is uh, is that. I think I think just a little bit. Just needs a little bit of a tilt. To be honest, I'll just get a little wedge and I'll just wedge it up. Uh, so if we do that in my have that in mind, let's um let's get some let's get some work done. Uh, so we've taken because I've taken this big branch out here, it opens up this area so we can actually start to probably wire some of this out. I should just just let me check the camera's still in focus. Yeah, that's still pretty okay. You might see my ugly mug. Just need to now start to position some of these branches um, and pluck anything out that's growing underneath. Now, there is some like nice new shoots up here, but I'm just going to let them grow, let them leave them on to harden because they're very green at the moment. So if you notice that the stem is still very green, it's very new growth. You want it to brown off a little, quite a little bit just before you before you do anything. So I'm just fanning that out to give me. To give it enough light. There's a few browning bits on this side. There's a few brown bits here, so I'll just I'll just leave that alone a little bit and just see if it recovers. But there's a nice branch here that's nice and healthy. Just pinching on anything that's growing down. I think I'll just clean up today, and anything that's really excessively long, I'll clean up. So I'm trying to keep the front towards you guys as much as possible. But yeah, I'm just underneath you, just pinch off the, the, the bad bits or the things that are growing down. <clears throat> yeah, at the back you've got some really long branches. Mm. I'm actually thinking the back could be removed. If I do that, it looks better. So I'm have a feeling that might have been that might be an LA candidate as well. Yeah, I really should revisit my videos that I did um, and see see where it see where it lands. Yeah, I definitely think that is too much growth down there. It's too too much down there. Can you see that? But I think I left that because that's the lowest branch. Um, and there's nothing underneath it, so I'm very um, it's very unlikely to air layer. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe I've done that for a reason because it is too much there just you can just see it's really bushy then but if I remove it if I cover it with my hands you can see how much nicer the tree looks yeah it's definitely got to go um, bit of a shame because it's such a big branch um, do we have a crack at layering it mm, maybe even though there's nothing underneath no no foliage underneath to, to yeah I don't want to waste my time I might treat it as a cutting maybe and, and see if that works. It's quite a big, it's quite a substantial branch too. So, the gin, nah, it's too hidden to be ginned, I think. Maybe a small one when I cut it off. Yeah. Okay. And in that position, it's going to be very hard to get a, get a, get a, a ball around it. I've got wire on it as well. So, I think regardless, I'm going to have to take this off. So, let me. Let me just let me get let me get the wire off it. So I'm just arm wiring because um I don't want to snap it all off because I've wired two two branches with the one wire and I don't want to lose that um that anchoring if I've got it somewhere. thinking yeah. there's nothing below so all right I'm gonna try and treat there as a cutting I'm greedy let me just take some of this 
some yucky smaller bits that are not healthy. Well, I'm so tempted to at least experiment and see if we can get it to work. Because the only thing that might have helped it is it's got so much strong foliage here. Um, yeah, I'm tempted. But it's definitely got to go, so you can just see much better, nicer, cleaner, more open tree once it's gone. So, yeah, let me have a look. Yeah, it looks so much better without it. Okay. So let's try and use it as a cutting this year. I'm just going to leave enough so there's an anchor point for this wire to cover itself. Alright, now there's a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Much nicer. So, I think that's, that's a definite improvement. Um, let's just keep cleaning it up. Some of these bits are really long, so you just come in with your scissors and you go in and you cut from the stem. Don't pinch it. Don't pinch the top. Cut from the stem. Okay. Anything underneath I pinch out. So this is not this is forming a nice nice first kind of branch in here. Needs to be a bit more work obviously, but looking looking nice and positive. Sometimes there's some slightly heavier branches that are going down. I'll just grab the scissors and Starting to come up nicely. Ground down. Anything that's too heavy. This will probably be repotted next to winter or during winter. So it'll come August. I'll probably repot this guy. I think it's ready. It doesn't need to be in this pot anymore. We can start to the process of moving down to um, into a bonsai pot. So the apex has got a bit of a lot of a lot of growth, so that's good news. Uh, got this nice back branch here; it just is fitting in nicely. Probably doesn't need to be so long, so maybe we can just slightly reduce that and try and push back the growth. The back branch is just used for depth when you look at the tree, so you just need something in the back there. You might need a bit of wire. Still won't look 100% today, but yeah, it starts to come up long nice. At least you get the idea. So really, it's a matter of just getting this apex in the right place. So, so always like all trees, everything really at the top gets most of the growth. Um, you know, lower branches, aren't as um, strong. So you gotta try and keep the top in check. So some of these guys I'm gonna have to try and wire down and create the apex. So you can see it's a bit tall now here. These have gotta be wired down and flattened. But because they're so green, it's gonna be very hard. So what I might do, is I might reduce it, try to get it to bud back. So, you know, you push that down, wire these guys a little bit, let them brown off, <coughs> and wire them down. Well, let's work at the back. I 
So it's good having records of these trees because then you can actually see the development. And I'll keep putting links to previous videos that I've did or the previous work that I've done on these trees because it gives you a good idea of um, how things are going. Also gives me a good idea. So how's that look already? I'm just looking at the camera. Oops, I'm a bit off, aren't I? There we go. Yeah, so it isn't too bad. Looking, looking pretty cute. Looks better, probably better in person than it does there. But I just feel like maybe we need to fill in this gap in here slightly. So I'll wire these branches in that scent, in that direction. I might try and reduce these actually. By reducing, we have to get butt back. So that's nice. So it's starting to really come up. <coughs> it's coming up like a nice little tree now. Just move the, the camera probably a bit more. Probably can't see, I'll just do a little spin around of the tree so you can see it's, this is not a bad bat, but it'll be nice to have some foliage in here to fill this gap. Um, the back is nice and shortened, so it looks good. So from side on, looks really nice side on. And coming back to the front, so yeah. It's just a bit of a play around. Now, if, as I said, the branches up here are very green still and I don't want to wire them. Um, I could wire this one, but I can leave it. There's no rush. But I just wanted to give it a trim and take off that, um, take off a couple of things. I had to take that branch off in here, the lowest one. Um, I'll just have a little gym there. Took off the air layer and the tree has transformed pretty much. Um, got a new tree out of it. Got some cuttings out of it. So we'll see how they will progress. But this tree is really starting to look nice and coming along really well. So it's good to see the progress. Um, and always good to revisit. Like I would just buy, to be honest, I walked past all my stock area and I just thought, oh, there's a black plastic bag there, so it must be another air layer. And I had a look and there it was, and it's ready to come off, so even better news. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one, nice short video. Um, you see this beautiful little tree developing. I think um, once it's in a bonsai pot, you really start to notice, you'll see the big difference. This is a cool little tree. Again, it was probably an air layer I took um, some time ago and now it's starting to develop quite nicely. <clears throat> Beautiful, I'll keep you guys updated in autumn, I mean in winter when I repot this tree, I'll do another video on it and you can see how it's coming along. All right guys, enjoy the video, thanks, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. Okay, see you next time.